If you are looking for a production grade, very high quality multilingual OCR with AI, then maybe have a look at this Mistral OCR. I covered this Mistral OCR previously along with all the other models from Mistral and this Mistral OCR has evolved a lot. So in this video, we are going to install and then we are going to test it out. I will be using their API. If you are following along, just go to mistral.ai login and grab your API from their website. That is a paid option. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So what exactly is this Mistral OCR? Mistral OCR is an optical character recognition developed by Mistral AI that is designed for document understanding at a very high level. It goes beyond simple text extraction from images or PDFs. It also recognizes and understands a wide variety of document elements, including text, tables, mathematical equations, images, and complex layouts. For example, scientific papers with figures and LaTeX in many different languages and scripts. I will be talking more about it, but for now, let's get it installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and you can see that I am already in my virtual environment with Konda just to keep everything simple. And this is how you install Mistral AI. I am just using the pip command and that is all done. Next step is to set our API key. If, as I said, if you don't have it, just grab it from their console. And let me set my API key and clear the screen. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook and we will play around with this Mistral AI there. Jupyter Notebook is launched. Let's first initialize our API. So I already have set it at my environment. So I'm just going to grab it and initialize the client. And that is done. Now let's see it in action. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this PDF file from my local system. I'm going to upload it to Mistral and then we will do the OCR with this Mistral OCR server. And you can see that this PDF file is quite unstructured in the terms that there are a lot of unstructured elements like tables, images, some of the equations are there and a lot of other information. So let's try it out. And if you look at the code, I'm specifying this file from my local system. I'm uploading it. And then after that, I'm getting the response back. I am using this Mistral OCR latest model from Mistral, which is an API based model. And then I'm getting it and displaying it in the markdown. By the way, if you're looking to deploy it in your own enterprise locally, that is also an option, but you would need to talk to Mistral about that as how exactly that works. But that is an option which I have uh, seen on their website. Okay, so let's run this. And it was fairly quick. It has come back with the response. I will again show you this. So you see, this is a sparkle one. And at the top, it has given us that there is some image and then it has done this. I will just walk it through just to make sure that everything is there. And you see how good that looks in terms of OCR. There you go. It is multilingual too, and we will be testing out other languages, but look at this. For instance, if I just go down and show you the individual features, there you go. Everything is captured. And then this is a specification. Let's go to that specs table. There you go. It's single GPU, all the numbers, everything is there. So single GPU, it is there, the column names, rows are correct. I don't see any issues there. It is pretty accurate, pretty accurate. And I'll just go back and then check the paper. So yeah, looks pretty good. One thing I'm just trying to see if above specification, if that footer is available, I think it removes the footers, but let's check. I'm just going to go back and above specification, this specification, yes, yeah, so it removes the footers. Okay, and I think in their API call, you can also include them if you like. It's pretty flexible. Anyway, so that turned out pretty well. Let's try out another one. Okay, so next up, I'm going to try out this Urdu uh, marriage certificate. 
I'm not sure even if it supports Urdu or not, but let's try it out. And I'm giving it the image file this time. It is working. It is quite quick. And if I visually compare, it's not perfect by any means, not at all, but it has grabbed some of the words, correct? So at least it tried even with unsupported language. Okay, let's try it out with a supported language. I'm going to try it out with Arabic. So this is an Arabic one and just Arabic a PDF random one from internet I grabbed. Um, AI generated, I believe. So let's go down. Doesn't show me anything with Arabic. That's not good. Okay, maybe I will provide it another Arabic document. Maybe it doesn't work with this one. Okay, so I have gone with this new Arabic document and let's see. And I have run this. Let's check it out. And if you're a Arabic um, speaker or writer, please confirm. What do you think about this? I will just, okay, it's a bit smaller. I will make it a bit bigger. Now maybe we can compare. So I, I can only tell visually. Visually speaking, it looks pretty good to me. And you see it has even put it in these special characters. All the dots and everything looks there. Yeah, I think as long as your document is good or decent enough, Arabic OCR is quite good. In the next test, I have just grabbed this Hindi text. I will just show you. This is the text. And I believe visually checking uh, looks pretty good to me. But if you're a Hindi writer, please, please let us know if this is correct or not, but visually checking spot on. Next up, I'm going to check this mathematical notation and then Chinese, and it is got a garbled formula example. So let's check it out. I already have run it. It's very quick. This is a Chinese and, and I'm just displaying first few, you know, first top thousand characters. And if I visually check, it looks pretty good to me. Just going to go back, you see, even zeros are there, Chinese language is there, and it has displayed this markdown in a really, a really good fashion. So look, I'm pretty impressed by it, but let me know what do you think. Uh, try it out, and if you're looking to embed any API-based OCR model in your AI-powered applications, maybe in your RAG, maybe this could be a good choice, but let me know. Also. Please share in your comments which OCR model, open source or API base you are using for your day-to-day -day tasks or in your production application. Very curious to know that. Please like the video and subscribe. And more importantly, please consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.